Hey y'all, let's take a look at opposites of numbers. We talked about this a little bit last time and I don't get too confused and concerned about how, like when you see, you know, I don't know, um, when you see this, you can call that opposite six. Um, and if somebody says to you, okay, one minus six, well, you know, you're, at the, you're on one at the number line and you're going six times to the left. In other words, you're taking, it's the same thing as saying, I have a one sitting here and right, I'm not, I'm I'm adding a negative six to it. So you know the method how to do that, right? So when you're adding, this is their different signs. So you go ignore it. Oops, six minus one is five. And since this has the bigger absolute value, that's a negative, that means the answer is gonna be negative. So don't get too hung up about opposites and, and all that kind of stuff. If, well, if it's, is it minus six or is it uh, the opposite of six or is it one plus negatives or negative? It's the same, all the same thing, so make sure. Okay, all right, well, uh, what is an opposite? It's something you add to a number to get zero, right? What's the opposite of 12? Negative 12, right? What's the opposite of negative 26? Positive 26. In other words, they're exactly the same distance apart on the number line from zero. So you add them both together to get zero. Okay, um, let's say this is negative two. You could call this negative two. You can call it opposite two. You can call it minus two. You can call it Charles. Don't call it Charles. Okay, that's not a good name. Charles, uh, no, let's call it um, Charlena. And uh, no, Charlena Grace, that's a homeschool name. Okay, Grace has to be the, the middle name here. Okay, well look at this. How would you read this? If this is the opposite of two, how would you read that? You'd say that's the opposite of the opposite of two, right? Well, then what is the opposite of negative two, for example? That's just two, right? Okay, it's on the other side of the number line, all right? How about this? The opposite of the opposite of the opposite, you know, two, okay. Well, there's negative two, and the opposite of that would be positive two, but the opposite of positive two would be back at negative two, right? Okay, here it gets even better, okay? Look at that. Here's a, what's the opposite of the pot, ooh, I, you know, that's okay, visualize it, it's a piece of cake, right? The opposite of positive three is just negative three, right? It's on the other side of the number line. Piece of cake. Okay. How about this one? Oops, I drew over it. The opposite of the opposite of six. Well, we know what this is. That's negative six, right? You can visualize it on a number line, right? The opposite of that would just be six, or if you wanted to put a plus there, a positive six. Okay. Now this is what we're going to get into. We're going to add, you know, clumps of numbers like this with all these different signs and all this jazz. But I mean, right? Go ahead and pause it if you need to. But don't worry about this, just take your time and write, you know, just make sure you're very accurate and, and uh, careful about the number of opposites. So the opposite of negative four is just positive four, right? And if you add a negative two, that's the same thing as saying a minus two, right? And if you add the opposite of the opposite of six, well, the opposite of six is just negative six, right? Well, the opposite of that it's just plus six, right? So adding a plus six, you're just gonna go like that. Boom, there you go, okay? And you can go left to right on these, piece of cake. Four minus two, easy, that's two, plus six, eight, got it. Okay, there you go, all right? This is the kind of thing we're gonna, they're gonna give you here. Go ahead and pause it if you need to and copy this down. All right, uh, we, and let's just go ahead and take one extra step here and uh, make this very simple. Don't make this too hard, all right? look exactly at the number of opposite signs and clean up every single one of them, okay? All we need to know is you've got a six here. The opposite of that, we can just call it opposite six or negative six or minus six or whatever you want to call it, Charlie and Grace, okay? Well, the opposite of negative three, what would you write right there? What goes right there? Plus three, right? Doop. There you go, got it. What's the opposite of negative two? Positive two, right? Okay, if we're gonna add a negative eight, that's the same thing. Well, you know, we're gonna add the opposite of eight, which means we're going to subtract eight, right? In other words, if you're on a number line here, right? And somebody tell you, you're somewhere, and the guy tells you, oh, we're gonna add eight. Well, we're gonna go that way, right? Okay, if he says to you, oh, I'm gonna add a negative eight, well, we're gonna go to the left, right? That's the same thing as subtracting. So if you add a negative eight, that means you subtract eight, right? If you subtract a positive six, you just subtract six, that's it. Now, you have seen these before, right? We did those last time. Okay, well, let's just knock these out one by one. Let's take this group first, okay? Well, negative six plus three, 
they're different signs. So we subtract the absolute values, right? So six minus three is three. Should that be negative or positive? Negative, because this is farther away from zero. There we go, pull it down. Negative three plus two, all right? Well, what's the answer to that? Well, they're opposite signs, right? Don't forget. So we take the absolute values, three and two, and we subtract them, right? Three minus two is one. Well, should it be opposite of one, negative one, or positive one? That's farther away from zero, so that gives it the weight, okay? I'm bringing down my negative eight. And this is easy. They're both the same sign. See, all you do is you go one plus eight is nine. And since they're both negative, the answer is negative, and there you go. It's all those two. All right, let's do another one. Pause and copy. Okay. We don't have to obsess over this and make this too complicated, but let's go ahead and be careful with it, right? Okay. Well, the opposite of negative 9 is just 9, right? Okay. Well, there's a negative 5. Don't worry about all these brackets. The reason they put these different shaped brackets is so you don't see some number like this. Oh, there, there's another one, there's another one, and there's another one. And all of a sudden it looks like you know, you're like lost in the woods or something. Okay? And, and there's like a, a bear that's chasing you with hearts on its head or something. And very skinny. That's why he's chasing you because he's hungry. Okay, anyway. Well, there's the opposite of 5, negative 5. Well, the opposite of that is positive 5. And the opposite of that is back to negative 5. So there you go. All right, and the opposite of two, you know, that's negative two. The opposite of negative two is just two. So plus two, yoink, there we go. Okay, well, this is a piece of cake. Nine minus five, four, plus two, six, done. That's it. All right, let's try another one. Pause and copy. All right, let's go back to uh, doing this very slowly. Okay, well, the opposite of negative seven is just seven. The adding a negative eight, which way does that go on the number line, left or right? If you add a negative 8, if you're starting here at the number line, right there, which way are you going if you add a negative 8, left or right? Left. Okay, so that's the same thing as going minus 8. Make it simple. Okay, there's the opposite of 10. Oop, the opposite of negative 10 is positive 10. Oop, the opposite of positive 10 is back to negative 10. There you go. Okay, so let's do this first. 7 minus 8, oop, different signs. I got a seven here. I have a negative eight there. I'm adding them together, okay? Different signs, I take the absolute values and I subtract. Eight minus seven, one. Should it be negative eight, or excuse me, negative one or positive one? That is farther away from zero, so that gets that. Negative one minus 10, which is this brought down. Well, that's easy. Those are both the same signs. So you just ignore the signs and add to get 11. And you go, oh, this answer has to be the same sign as both of those. Yoink, and there we go. Okay, all right. This is a little bit longer. Pause and copy, come back. Okay, well, again, let's just be careful. And, you know, it's not that big of a deal. We can get this thing here, okay? Well, the opposite of positive six is negative six, right? And the opposite of negative two is positive two, all right? Well, four is just four. And the opposite of negative 11, well, that's positive 11. If you're going to add a negative 7, which way are you going on the number line, left or right? Left. Okay, so that's the same thing as subtracting. All right, well, let's just go left or right here. Negative 6 plus 2. I think you're getting, probably getting faster at these by now. You visualize 6 minus, since they're opposite signs, 6 minus 2 is 4, but this is farther away from 0, negative 4. And negative 4 plus 4, well, they're opposite signs, right? So you subtract. So 4 minus 4 is 0. Well, we don't care. There is no such thing as, oh, trying to figure out how far away from 0 is. No, it's just 0. Okay, 0 plus 11 is 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. Done and done. All right? Let's try the practice set. Try A, and then come back when you're done. Okay, A will be 7. 7, make sure that's correct. All right, try B now. Pause it and try B. B is one. Okay, pause it and try C. C is seven. All right, pause it and try D. Okay, D is five. All right, 
that's it. And uh, work on those. Make them real simple for yourself. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.